This is a quick video on uh, Corsair's Vengeance LPX uh, DDR4 3000C15 kit. So this is the box that it comes in, and then it's very thin. And then the back, just to get the exact model number, that's the model number. Um, so yeah, there you go. What it is, it's 2x4 gigabytes for total 8, and let's get into it. So installed in the system, uh, that's what it looks like. It's two. I chose two sticks. Um, because it's really good for APUs. But uh, yeah, you can do a single stick or 2x16. However, that will change the uh, IC. So, important note on this model specifically, the IC uses Hynix, um, it uses Hynix ICs. I don't remember if it's AFR or NFR, whatever their 4 gigabyte stick one is. Um, but what that means is that your clocks, which uh, is to mean your your frequency is not going to be super high. B die can go really high, but AFR and MFR maxes out like 3200 absolute limit usually with like under 1.4 volts. So yeah, here's a great example of that. Um, let's show you the XMP profile. So let's go to auto and then back to XMP. So this is the XMP profile that the memory loads with. It says here DDR4 3000 15 17 17. 35 at 1.35 volts. That's pretty standard, uh, 1.35 volts for an XMP profile, however, um, it, it's called a CL15 kit, and I want to argue that because most of the timings, if we go in here, this is their XMP timings, this is my personal that I've set up, and this is the ones that they automatically give you, so 15, 17, 17, 17, 35, that's more 17 than it is 15 for CL. Uh, I guess I guess it's not wrong because it's like TCL, right? So CL15, but your timings aren't honestly like it's mostly 17s instead of a 15. But yeah, um, that's what this stock gives you. And then on this board, remember I'm running a um, th I'm running this board with P1.6 BIOS, uh, 2200G. So you might get some different results depending on your board, but. This is what I was given, and the, the second day, this is what I've already made by myself. This is the uh, assigned timings, and they're not great. You can tune them, and I have tuned mine a little bit, but I'm not super good at uh, memory overclocking, so, you know, it's not fabulous, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get into um, what I've been able to do. So I'll go and select my profile, which is, I think I was most recently using bread. Um, okay, so this is at 1.4 volts instead of 1.35. I go higher because my um, memory controller can handle 1.5 daily use, but the motherboard won't let me like try look at this. I'll try to go 1.5, and it just sets me back to 1.4, so whatever. Um, let's go, yeah. So this is what I've been able to achieve, and this is has passed a 100% uh, 100% one pass of Memtest 86 version 4.7.2, I think it was. Um, it passed. It this passed. So this is probably stable for daily usage. I haven't had any problems with it crashing yet. So yeah, um, 3133 could not get 3200 at 1.4 volts. As hard as I tried, I even loosened the timings a little bit, and it just it didn't like it. So 3133, which is close enough, I guess. And then um, for my timings, I'm running 14, 15, 15, 15, 31. Quick note, it says 13 here, but it actually is 14 in this BIOS. I don't know why it does that, but I'm just going to live with it. Um, it reports as 14 in all OS monitoring so uh, and in here, so I'm just assuming that it is, is 14. So yeah, um, 14, 15, 15, 31 is my main timings. And then for um, the secondary, I didn't really touch it much. I did lower my TRC a little bit from like 51 to 46. Because it's really just these two added up. Or, um, yeah, TRP and TRAS uh, added up. That's really all it is. Um, so, yeah, that's... I'm, I'm a big noob at memory overclocking, and I have no clue what I'm doing half the time. So, I haven't touched most of these yet. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. Those are my tertiaries. Secondaries are here. And then primaries are over here. So that's what I've been able to achieve with my kit specifically. Again, variance is going to go from kit to kit and motherboard to motherboard. Note, my motherboard has four um, RAM slots, so if it had two, it'd be even better at RAM overclocking, and I'm using a Ryzen chip. But um, something to note about this specific kit of memory, which is the 3000C15, it's very popular, and for good reason. 
It is compatible with a huge selection of motherboards and CPUs ranging from Intel to AMD, which is a good thing. This is, I would say that this kit, though it is not B-Die, though it is not extremely fast, though it does not overclock super handily, uh, it's, it's rock solid. Like it'll work with pretty much anything you put it with and you can almost always guarantee what it's rated. So 3000 C15, CL15, excuse me, um, which isn't super great, but it's, it's fine. Not for, over, uh, not for XOC, but for daily use. It's rock solid. So I can safely recommend uh, this kit if you're looking to buy it. Um, if you want to get the 2x8 gigabyte version, the only difference is that it's going to use a AFR, I think it is. IC instead of MFR, or MFR instead of AFR. Still Hynix chips, very similar, so it'll have a similar kind of um, feel to these. So yeah, that's all I want to say about this uh, low profile vengeance. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them. Um, other than that, yeah, goodbye.